what are data analytics in the context of social media? They're a collection of data that tell us something about the social media conversation. Some simple examples are the number of Facebook likes or Twitter followers, or how many times your video has been played on YouTube. In essence, data analytics are a way to quantify content, conversations, and human interaction across social media. Social media analytics are now at the core of contemporary society. They're used in advanced computer learning, health and medicine, marketing and PR, information systems, events, mobilities, crisis communication, goods and services production, and transportation. Commercially, social media producers are likely to use analytics to gain insights into their customers. This is often referred to as social listening. Social media data are collected, monitored, analyzed, summarized, and graphically visualized in order to generate insights into the behavior of users. Understanding user behavior is not only about collecting data on activities such as how many times content is viewed, however. It also includes what can be deduced from these figures about user opinions, views, emotions, evaluations, and attitudes. In short, why users might behave as they do. This is of great interest in the academic realm where a dedicated field of research is emerging around political, civil unrest, psychological, sociological, and cultural studies of social media analytics, using scientific methods to analyze large social data sets. Social media data provides a rich and dynamic representation of human emotions and reflections, and the automated systems that are able to decipher these conversations are very complex. So it's no wonder there is confusion around what social media analytics are and what they can do. If we look at a Facebook insight page, for example, which is the entry point to obtain analytics from users who like your Facebook page, we're presented with a number of tabs. Within those tabs are numbers, graphs, suggestions, and of course, calls to boost your audience based on these numbers. Before using data analytics to monitor and develop a social media campaign for a project, it's important to define what you want social media to achieve. Some questions you might want to consider are, what's the purpose of the social media campaign? Is it to build an audience, develop brand awareness, or to drive traffic to your website? Are we undertaking social conversation to generate a social media buzz beyond taking out traditional paid advertising? Are we attempting to gain endorsement from strong social media influences for our brand? And note here that brand is in the context that can include a cause, event, or a person. Geographically, where do we want our brand awareness to grow? What types of conversations do we want to engage in? Then establish a clear set of key performance indicators or KPIs that will allow you to gauge your success. Establishing the KPIs before you get going enables you to clearly focus to improve certain strategic areas rather than trying to grow everything. What will we consider to be a success in these areas? Is it increased followers or subscribers? Content being shared more frequently? Or increased activity around a call to action? Social media analytics can help address these questions and many more, but it's crucial we understand what the measurements mean before we align them to questions, act on them, and especially before we contemplate spending money to improve them. Most social platforms use the same or similar sorts of measurements. So given that Facebook has a comprehensive set of data metrics, let's look again at their insights page in detail. Likes. The total number of people who like your page could also be called fans, followers, friends, etc. Likes are also often separated into organic and paid measures to offer an insight into where money is being spent. This differentiation might address whether your social media spend for the last month resulted in new likes for your account. Reach. This number indicates where your content has ended up. 
For example, how many news feeds did your Facebook page end up in? Again, separates paid and organic measures to indicate if your money has been targeted well and your message has been sent to the most appropriate consumers. Page views, how many people looked at your page? Posts, this is a crucial measurement as it indicates which posts attracted the most traffic. Did people engage with the posts, for example, click the like button or comment on the content? Did they share it with their network? If they did share it, what was the impact of the post's reach? People, this is the final insight of general significance as this gives you a very clear and highly useful understanding of the socio-demographic of your audience. Are they female? What's their age group? What languages do they speak? Where are they located? Or what sort of device do they use to access your content? With each of these metrics, we can begin to understand how you might use them. For example, if you post an image of a sunset with a slogan saying, life is beautiful, you may see some metrics move slightly. Perhaps it may be a particular demographic between 35 and 55 that are likely to engage with it and probably share it a handful of times. However, if at the same time next week, you post a photo of your breakfast with the slogan saying, you're baking me crazy, you may find there's an enormous spike in the interactions and shares of the content. It's likely that another section of the audience will interact with this and potentially share it vigorously with their friends. Alternatively, you might post something at your local market at lunchtime when people are likely to be on a break or at 9 p.m. when many people are looking at Facebook before they doze off to sleep. For your brand, this might be the ideal time to post your content. These examples indicate that social media is a trial and error type of approach, where each time you do a campaign, you learn an incredible amount about the people you're talking to and feed that information into the next action. Beyond a few basic ground rules on what, when, and how information should be posted, Social media analytics enable you to monitor what's successful amongst your audience and to create content that's highly applicable to them. Building on some of the concepts of earlier modules, you might think about how to engage users with social media for co-creation and participation, and then use social media analytics to monitor your success. With this approach, you should be able to compile a suitable communication plan for the following three months that you can check and if necessary, adjust as you go.